Hello friends. So I just wanted to share my romper. Here we go, here we go, here we go, the romper. Yes. Now I thought if I throw on some heels with this, I could do this for the um, newscast, but it is extremely comfortable. So here we go. Here nice. we are, Carolina Rashi folks with the amazing yeah. Terry Ann. Thank you so yeah. much for doing this. I know it has been such a busy day because there's yeah. um, this trial that we've been following locally, Gerald Goines. Um, he was just pol former P HPD Houston Police Department uh, police officer who's charged with two counts of murder. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, he was found guilty today, actually this afternoon. Literally uh, less than two gonna, hours ago. Yeah, yeah. Like a couple hours ago. Right. That and was so the whole thing. She does <laughs> all the web stuff. And so she's like, I don't know, Rashi, if I could do this. And then she yeah. gave me a thumbs up. And I was like, yeah, girl, yeah, because it's always good. Because I will admit, when you came up to me and you were like, hey, I was like, because they were just like, we're, we're, the verdict's coming in. I'm just sitting up here like, <gasps> people were yelling. They weren't yelling, but they were like, the verdict's in. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay. And you were like, Hey, so like, what are you doing at 3.30? And I yes. was like, can I let you do it at 3? I know, I know. To see how I'm doing. And I had no plan B. I yeah. just had faith <laughs> in Trust Tarion. and yes. Pixie I dust. said, yes, That's it. trust and Pixie dust. I love that. Did you make yeah. it up? No, it's from um, Tinkerbell. Oh. Have you ever seen Tinkerbell before? Like Peter Pan? Pixie. Yeah, basically. Yeah, um, but I guess yeah. I never caught that. Trust in the movie, it's like uh, faith, trust, and Pixie dust. Oh, I so, like that. Yeah. Oh, this is great. I this love it. Say. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that is. Well, how is everything else other than, you, you know what? I, I'm i obsessed with her <laughs> life outside of work because y'all need to go to her TikTok. She is just my spirit animal. I, I love it. I, I just love it. I post this like random fun stuff. And to be fair, I have so much like things in my drafts and I'm just scrolling through and I was like, oh, this would be kind of funny to post. I just don't, don't second guess it. it. Don't second guess yeah, it. Yeah, I the know. The people need the content. I know. They need the content. I know. And we talk about this a lot, too. And I'm always like, yeah, you know, like, I'm going to do it. I just don't. I think it's probably just, like, my internal, like, ADD or whatever. But I just can't. I, I used to do that until Caroline um, got involved in my life. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> 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 she is like just po you know I'm second guessing myself like oh my mm -hmm. god does this look like I'm like you know very self centered does this look this is that and then at the end of the day it's like who cares, who cares? and like, then a lot of times it's like my friends are like go girl or this or they yeah. think it's funny too so m bottom line is post post your content post the content I don't need to take my own advice guess. yes <laughs> post the content how do you feel about limos. Have you ridden a limo I've before? I've never ridden a, this conversation came up with another friend I had earlier too, but I've never ridden in a limo before. Okay, so I have, um, we used to actually live in an apartment complex that had these like things back in the day where if you like, I don't know, sold, I don't remember what it was, but they had like the limo days and you yeah. they would take you to like CC's in a limo or oh, something. Oh, that's so cool. So it was like really cool, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, I went in a limo then mm -hmm. um, and it, they're cool. They're just it nice. Like, what did it, what, like, set the scene? Like, what was inside it? Other residents. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said people. People. <laughs> other people I didn't know, and we went to wherever. I'm trying to think of any other time. Like, even in school, when we would get a certain amount in our fundraiser, mm -hmm. I guess I was getting both of those confused, then you would get to ride in a limo to oh. the junior high, other one, or something like that. Just like on like, a random day? Yes, yeah, like it wasn't just me and okay. somebody. Yeah. Um, but the scene is basically dark with lights, okay. and there's like a, like a, I guess a window separating you and the driver. Okay. And so it, it's just like, a, I mean, it's, it's like a bed and a car because it's so long and yeah. it's so small. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of limos. Mm -hmm. Love party buses. Have you been to a party bus? I, okay. Do a party bus. I haven't. Okay. Do it though. Okay. You got a trip coming up, don't you? Or I something? do. Yeah. I was going to say, I was considering because my birthday's in December. I was like, what if I just get a party bus? Please. <laughs> just. Can I, can I, can yeah, I do you your can social do. media? You I'm not inviting me. myself. I'm okay. saying I'll do something for you. <laughs> 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 I'm like, You're just in the way. Yes. yes. Okay. The reason that I'm talking about limos mm -hmm. is, first of all, I don't even see a lot of limos. I don't see them that much anymore either. No. When I do see one, I'm just like, oh, cool. Cause, like, yes. And like, that's the point. Occurrence. You always wonder who's inside. Is it a celebrity? Is it a CEO? Is it the president? Well, president ain't be in no limo. It'd probably yeah. be like all this uh, security around. So now when you see one, you're kind of like, eh, right? I mean, I don't really think too much about it. I think of like high school prom or something, you know, That's I'm not like, mm -hmm. but if I see like a tricked out, like blacked out SUV, Escalade, yeah. I'm like, is oh, that my city? 
Is oh, that fitting? Somebody's in there. Um, oh, yeah. People just don't see them as cool anymore. Gen Z apparently think they're tacky. Yeah. I. So what do younger people like instead? A study says porty buses. Oh, yeah. Porty I believe buses. that. Because when you think about it, too, I feel like a limo, there's no space in it. Like, it's like, it's like the size of essentially like the height of a car. Yes. You're just sitting, like, there's, what do you But use? the SUV limos, I've never been in one. They look really cool. Oh, like cool. the really, like, yes, bigger ones? Yes. Okay, yeah. But I would totally go for a party bus. I mean, yes. my friend, she had, one of my best friends got married in Vegas at mm -hmm. that little white chapel. She had a party bus for us. And that was, Ooh. like, so much fun. Yeah. So much fun. I mean. Because I feel like you have room to like dance and yes. like just party and stuff like yes. that. You can't do that in the No, limo. you're literally just like this. Exactly. And the and the seats are so low and then the, the floor is so low. So everything's like low. Now, if you're hmm. trying to like, you know, do some extracurricular activities <laughs> in, the, in the limo, I'm sure that's yeah, very, you know, that fit for it. it. But yeah. um, other than that, yeah, I don't I don't really think party bus I mean limos are are in yeah. anymore I do like the idea of a party I haven't been on a party bus but I I don't know if this is similar to a party bus but in college they had have you heard of Fetties? no okay so it's kind of like heard of like Fetty Wap <laughs> right <laughs> not Fetty. so what he actually they? founded this no he didn't no That's a lie. yeah um but basically it's like it's not it's almost like a party bus but it's like a you can order one and so we would order a Fetty to take us to because I went to school in Austin so we'd go to 6th Street mm -hmm. so we would order the Fetty to take us to 6th Street and essentially like it had party bus vibes in the sense where they had like the driver had like these flashing disco lights <laughs> and like Got we could Amazon like set the playlist right <laughs> he just stuck them to the roof <laughs> And like he, we had like this playlist, and like we can just play songs, and like that was the closest to a party. Got it. Got it. Got it. It was the closest to when I was been on because we were in there, we were just like jamming, yeah, just like playing songs and just like dancing and like and stuff. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool, right? So that gave party bus vibes to me, yes. And that's ever since then. I was like, we, I need to do like an actual party bus. Yes, an actual party bus is great. I'm not a fan of those. I've never been on them, but like the beer <gasps> cycling thing. <laughs> Why am I working while I'm drinking beer? I saw one the other day, and I was like, that it's, doesn't seem no, like... No, it's not... It doesn't seem... I mean, I don't yes, don't knock it. it until you try it, yeah. but still, like, that just doesn't seem... Like, the other thing... Drinking and biking at the same time? Yes. The other right. thing is these... Um, what are, I don't know what they're called, but they're like the bicycles <laughs> where they have the people in the back. Oh, wait. Oh, the guys who, like, are riding like, bike, or, and, like, you ride and, like, in, like... Yes. Like a little carriage. Right. Or something like that. Like a carriage, yes. Yeah. So you see them outside the Astros games mm -hmm. or like I've seen them at the Texans games. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've ridden in one before. <laughs> That's fine. This lady oh. was big. Mm -hmm. Okay. Big meaning probably a big heart, but she was also large. Yeah. And she had three other people with her. Oh. They all fit in this carriage and this skinny little guy. I was like, oh, what is happening? Oh my God. Like, you have to be a little considerate, you know? Like, I'm not yeah. I'm not fat shaming or anything like that. I'm just saying, like, if this is, you know, going to be human strength, Pulling we're not powered bike. by an engine. We're not. But they be moving. Yes. <laughs> they, I will so get I don't know <laughs> if that's moving. like a, a type of, you know, there's, there's some engineering going on behind it or mm -hmm. like, you know, You might physics. be because it's like, I guess, wheels on the back help also move it forward propel because, it but yeah because i've the one i've ridden on we it would be like multiple people but there was one time like we asked this guy we were like hey like we have like a couple i think it was like three or four we're like please like we was like we need to get back yeah like, we, we have to get like to this destination and he was like okay but i even i felt bad with like four of us piling right, into right. this like this guy's like mini like cart on the back of his bike yes but he like powered through I and a part of me feels going, like yeah yeah then you're good mm -hmm. i feel like after that like he was had like a steady momentum like he was moving oh. we tipped him we tipped him really nice oh that's we were good. like yeah. thank you so much yes but yeah like sometimes i'm like uh i know that I feel like it should be like okay guys and i'm pretty sure that they're they're made a certain way because mm. like what if you have to stop and the carriage like <laughs> <laughs> I just like the cartoon just like flips over. You're like, okay, well, what just happened? Oh my God. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, so basically the point is limos are out, party buses are in. We'll be right back. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Caroline and Rashi featuring. Fe featuring. Featuring. Yeah, featuring. Featuring. You're talking about Fetty's. 
So oh, like yeah. Few, few oh, gotcha. There. Okay, featuring Terry in here. So we're talking about groceries. How do you get your groceries? Do you From order? The store? Oh. <laughs> Was that the question? Yes. <laughs> okay. Like, I mean, like, do you order them? Or you oh, pick up? oh, no, I just off, go in Instacart. and get them. Okay. Yeah, like I've never people. done like the pickup and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so apparently you obviously are a great person to ask all these things, but like, what are some of the rudest things that people have done in a grocery store? Oh, oh, there's so many. Oh. Um, first one that comes to mind, standing in line and they get like all up behind me mm -hmm. in my Personal space. Personal space. That was, yes, that's one that's of them in this irritating. study. Yeah. Um, what else? I feel like when I'm standing there, oh my gosh. Okay, people who stand in the aisle and they see you trying to get by yeah. and they just don't move. stand in the middle of the aisle and I'm just sitting there staring at them. And I don't, at that point, because usually I am the type who says, excuse me, mm -hmm. but when I see you, just move, I just move past you and I'm just like, keep walking. I'm like, if yes. you don't want to move, then I'm just going to move through you. Right. That, um, what else? People, and I don't know if this is like, rude but like people who are standing in front of something when I'm trying to get to it yeah and I'm just kind of like standing off maybe like okay if they see me they'll move and they don't move mm -hmm. so now I'm just standing behind this person and at so that point I'm just drama. like okay excuse me and I yes. reach over them and grab it and I feel rude but I'm like no right move you see me here trying right. to get to this stuff exactly yeah. so yeah <laughs> <laughs> can I tell you like a funny story and um sorry for all the guys that are are out there or whatever <laughs> but like I okay, had okay. to get some tampons and um Advil Mm -hmm. And the the guy checking me out was a was a male. Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> and, uh, did he come like, in? <laughs> well, no. And I was just like, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> you know what else to say? Right, like, uh, and then I realized those were the two things, and I was, so I just got some gum too, just, <laughs> just to throw, it <laughs> throw it in there. And then and then um and then I was like, let me get some chocolate for my kids or whatever, yeah. you know, and I guess he thought it was for me. <laughs> and, and so when he like put the stuff up, he's like, I hope it's not that bad. <laughs> I was like, thanks. Thank you. So Bye. considerate. So considerate, but you can't be judged at what you're getting, right? You like you, be. you, like, you know. And sometimes I, just, I go in for like completely different things. Like I'll come out with food, but like, yeah, also like yes. maybe I'll come with like tampons or something like that, right. like all in this one bag. And they're probably like, okay, yes. what is she, what's I know. going on right now? And it's confusing if you're like, there was one time that I had when I was, you know, I, I think I was, anyway, I got a pregnancy test mm -hmm. and this was years and years ago, but with tampons as well. <laughs> <laughs> Which was also confusing. The person so was like, to like okay. <laughs> what's going on? So I was mindful of that. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I got a loaf of bread too. <laughs> did you need it? No. no. <laughs> but I was just like just in case. I'm gonna make myself off. a sign <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? You just, you just never know. Okay, so back exactly. to the rudest things on the grocery store. So the biggest offenses, some of them, are using the express lane with too many items. Yeah. Disrespecting the personal space, which Terry Ann said was her one of her big things. Mm -hmm. Ignoring all those aisle traffic rules, spot yep. on. And then some of the more extreme offenses are, this <gasps> is crazy, taking some stuff out of other people's cars. What, what are you doing? Girl. Opening things without buying them. I do that, but let me just say my kids are with me mm -hmm. and I'm just opening up like a pack of chips or something that I'm going to pay for later. Okay. But nobody really gives me like the stink eye if you have kids. Yeah. Because they know what that's like. Like mm -hmm. you just need to get, you know, them to calm down. So um, putting your shopping cart back. Do you put your shopping cart back? I do. Yes. Because I can't deal with the thought of just like leave. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I do leave it there. But most of the time. Yeah, I can't deal I with the thought back. of, well, I can't deal with the thought of me just lying right now. Right? <laughs> I was like, Terry, don't lie to these people. Yeah, I don't do. lie. Like, we are friends. Sometimes, like, but if it's like far, mm -hmm. I'm just like, uh, I will say. <laughs> like, if it's like a decent, I will walk and put yes. it back. But yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I will okay. say that I will just prop it on something mm -hmm. so that it doesn't move uh -huh. because I have my children with me or yeah. I have, you know, I can't, I don't want to leave them in the car, which mm -hmm. I've done before. And I was like, that was stupid. But, um, if there's like a tree or, you know, like where you can just yeah. kind of prop it and then I'm like, so whatever. Yes. Yeah. Because okay. I can't hold both of them or I can't like be like, come on, because that's more dangerous because mm -hmm. these cars are coming or whatever. I feel like it's fine if you prop it somewhere, but don't leave it in the middle of 
a parking space. People who just like leave it yes. all willy nilly over <laughs> willy nilly. People <laughs> just leave it everywhere. Like the, yes, that's <laughs> that's that. annoying. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't mm. like that either. Get it back. All right, we'll be right back. Hi. <laughs> um, so thankfully we were just stopped, ab abruptly stopped a conversation we yeah. were having. Yes, because we're back here with you guys. Thankfully, Texas doesn't top the list for the worst drivers in the U.S. A new study, though, analyzed 19 bad driving behaviors. So can you think about them yourself? Here are some of them. Running red lights. That's, you know, illegal. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad habit. That's <laughs> against the, the law. law. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting drivers off. Not cool. Eating or texting while driving, also not cool. I have done that, mm -hmm. so let's just, it's not good though. Um, any form of road rage is awful. The top five states with the worst behaved drivers are Hawaii, Oregon, New Mexico, Wyoming, and Alaska. I don't want to even go there because Texas is bad. Yeah, I'm surprised Texas We're not, isn't like, higher. <laughs> right, so just imagine how bad those places are. Mm. Texas actually ranked 25th. Y'all, people in Houston are crazy. Absolutely horrendous <laughs> drivers. So bad. And you know what? So Daniel, my husband, he actually, this happened to him last week. He was mm -hmm. like, you will not believe what just happened to me. He was driving on 610. Yeah. One of our freeways. And this guy cut him off. And mm -hmm. so Daniel honked. I'm like, don't honk. Don't yeah. ever honk. Don't irritate Don't him. honk. He honked. The guy got out of his car in the middle of the highway, Shut parked his car, up. got out, pointed his hand like a gun. Shut up. And Daniel's like, and then moves away and leaves. But like, first of all, I said, you, first of all, you can't honk. You let these people go, do yeah. whatever, because you don't know what they have. What they're crazy. Yes. We, oh I can't gosh. tell you how many times we've reported on people dying mm -hmm. because of road rage. Road rage it's incident, so like insane to me. It's all ego, like. like <laughs> it, so anyway, that was scary, obviously. And I said, yeah. you do not honk, no matter mm -hmm. what, do not honk, please. But you know, I get off late, you get off late, mm -hmm. driving on the highway, people are crazy, and I let them be crazy. Like you yeah. know, I'm gonna be on the right, <laughs> slow. Do you do what you gotta do? You, oh, oh, you speeding up? Okay, okay let me okay. move. Let me move. <laughs> My that's bad. Right. Yes, my bad. I'm in your move. way. Yes. Because I can't. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, I, when I used to get off, because I used to get off late at, like, 10, 11. Mm -hmm. Even then, people are like, I'm like, it's dark out, and you're on the roadway doing, like, 80 miles per hour. For what? There's no one here. I don't understand how these people that are speed racing, because they're, yeah. how they're not getting caught. Like, do they have the radar detector? They or? might. I know some people do have those to, like, just check and see if cops are around, but I'm like, uh, it's so teenager I of me. I them to get caught. Like, a part of me is like, I hope you get pulled over. Oh, my God. Every single time, I'm like, um, 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 um. <laughs> <laughs> that goes in my head. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, 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 you're going to get caught. But, oh, my, road rage. Because I feel like people even outside of Texas mm -hmm. who have come to Houston, yes. their complaint is like, y'all driving and the traffic is absolutely awful. Yes. So the fact that it's not ranked higher is just so surprising to me because I yes. feel like it should be. And I'm scared to go to those other places because I'm, um, what is that like? I don't even know. Because, oh, yeah. And I'm like, Alaska? Like, well, when you think of Alaska, you think of like moose, right? Yeah. I'm like. But I think they have roads too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to say it. I didn't know. It's so, in <laughs> it's not, do people live in Alaska? Like, why would you even live so cold? Like, what? What's happening? Driving on roads? Is yeah. It like icy? Because I'm like, is it not cold? So I'm like, why are y'all so bad at driving? Like, if you're, it's cold. Just stay at home. I'm thinking you're. <laughs> that because we don't leave our house if at it's all <laughs> if it's below, below 50, 50 i'm at home <laughs> we're at home and if i'm on the road i'm driving so freaking slow yeah. so what are y'all doing in alaska <laughs> yeah have bad driving right it's our, our like, executive producer actually worked at a tv market in alaska well, yeah. i didn't even know they watched tv there <laughs> It's so cold, I'm just being bad. I know y'all had news in Alaska. There's news in Alaska? The weather, look outside, it's snowing. I know. Every single day. Why, why is there crime? <laughs> I wouldn't get out there. I heard right. Alaska has a high crime rate. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, Alaska's it. probably just like any other state. <laughs> We're just like, it's so, so far, far from away. us. I forget it exists Like sometimes. Maine. What do you even oh do in God. Maine? Yeah. 
who's out there? Who's out like, there? I'm not, like, okay, <laughs> this is transit. But like, those like small states like Rhode Island. Yeah. Like, what's going on? What's in happening Rhode there? Island? Yeah. Or when people talk about that area, that is that it really frustrates me because they're like, oh, oh like yeah, northeast. Yes, mm-hmm. because it's, it's like Rhode Island, oh Philadelphia, oh Pittsburgh, or you know, and then Maryland. They're all like clumped together. Yeah. To you me, know, they're all the same. Yeah, it's right? all in the like, same. It's not, but like to me, in my mind, I'm like, that's right. the same thing. D.C., all those areas, New York. But, you know, you have to see from our perspective of Texas. It's so one big. One big yeah. state, yes. Well, hopefully we'll get to travel more and realize <laughs> that there are other places around the world and, you know, open our eyes up a little bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching us. We'll see you next time, friends.